hello guys and welcome back to high and skin thank you guys for tuning back to my channel all my lovely subscribers are holding you you guys are welcome you guys are awesome i greet you all according to your time zone okay so guys today we're gonna talk about health general health from within centered mostly on detoxification how to detox your skin your liver your kidney your blood and your colon okay and the benefits is not just good health it's not just well-being it's not just um you know you extend your lifespan as well saves you money you enjoy your life enjoy your kids your grandkids and of course your skin trust me if you've been watching my previous video you've been consistent you realize and notice how i've said um uh, centered about the, the topic you know like essentiate about detoxing and that is what in turn reflects on your skin so today i'm going to do some more elaboration on this detoxification, and let's dive straight into it Without wasting much of your time, do your girl a solid and please click on your subscription button for me. At the same time, give this video a thumbs up. It's so important to me. It means a lot to me and I appreciate every one of you. Guys, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so guys, we're going to talk about how to cleanse and detox, which is... um. On the screen, you can see the kidney cleans, the lung cleans, the skin cleans, the digestive tract cleans, and the liver cleans. These are the topics we're going to be focusing on today. And I'm going to guide you on how to do each one of them. The kidney cleans, number one. You know, you urinate, uh, your kidney says, well, the function of a kidney is what, uh, when you take uh, your drink and food, and automatically, every day, it forms of uh, clearing uh clearing toxins from your blood making it uh turning into urine that is the waste and uh, when you urinate them out and yeah that means it's cleansing and sometimes the kidney gets uh accumulated with uh, when the uh, crystals form in them and those crystals in turn turns into kidney stones and they can be very painful and make you sick so that's why it's good to drink water, consume water, very good amount of water, at least six to five glasses of water per day. It helps you cleanse your kidney because if you don't help your kidney like that, you let it do the job all by itself. Crystals are going to be formed and settle in your kidneys and create kidney stones and make you sick and cause you a lot of <laughs> even pimples, a lot of the discoloration on your skin and your health in general. Then your lungs, staying um, under AC in your room all day, not going out, it doesn't change the hair, it doesn't, uh, well, I say, recycle or replace the air in your lungs. So going out during the day, changing the air in your lungs is called the lungs cleansing because we breathe in, um, inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. So you need to get those carbon dioxide out of your lungs. You cannot keep it in your lungs 24 hours, three, no, you'll feel fall sick, trust me. You won't even be able to detect why, why you're sick. Headaches, you name them. So you need to exhale those uh, carbon dioxide in your lungs by you know just running for five minutes you can even stay in your house and take a jumping rope and do it outside your house uh you can do it in the night you can do it in the daytime if you're too busy going to work or in the office sitting down all day you can just go outside and breathe in suck in the air and hold it for two to five seconds and exhale slowly breathe in hold it and exhale slowly you can do that like four five times even ten times as much as you can that means you're releasing the carbon dioxide and breathing uh, inhaling uh, oxygen and changing the oxygen and inside your lungs then thirdly <clears throat> the skin cleans it depels excessive moisture from your body my moisture from your body which is called sweat yes so sweat in its own is the toxin so when people sweat is a good thing. So when you're sweating, you can help your skin by drinking more water and that will in turn make you sweat more and repel most of all those toxins from your skin. Those are toxins that are hidden under the layers of your dermal and your epidermal, your skin. 
layers okay so eat that sweat is a good sweat and that's why when you exercise like that and you sweat you drink water it's fantastic it helps your skin breathe so you can do uh, jumping ropes jumping jacks take a bricks walk for five minutes uh four or five times in a week it's fantastic and um a good run you know walk it will help you it will help you it will help your skin and uh <clears throat> sorry excuse me the next one is the digestive tract <laughs> as long as we eat every day our body takes the nutrient from the food and the waste matter we expel it okay in our lulu <laughs> but then trust me believe me not every time not everything we eat goes out mm -mm. some waste matter stays logged in our system longer than it should i'm talking about up to three weeks some up to one month some even beyond yes and when they stay in your system log for so long they start excreting some liquids that fall into other parts of your intestine your liver your kidney and start making you fall sick and that's when doctor or sometimes you cannot be able to tell why you're sick having headaches stomach cramps having discoloration your eyes are looking yellowish you can't tell that's because there are liquids from the waste matter that's been logged in your system for so long that are now dripping or you know touching in going into other uh parts of your intestine in your system so yeah that's why you need to cleanse your digestive tract and that in turn will help you clear out all those logged up uh, waste matter that's been there for so long because whether you like it or not not everything goes out in the poo poo <laughs> okay the last one is the liver cleanse ha <clears throat> ha excuse me whether we like it or not we're breathing all these toxins in the air pollution and please let's not even go there some medication you take too you know have adverse reaction they can treat something but have adverse reaction in your system let's not mention alcohol let's not mention polytan let's not more, mention uh smoking whether you smoke or not but as long as you're around people that smoke is called second-handed smoking all this thing in turn gathers into your liver and stay there okay so yes you have to clean your liver once in a while and this in turn can even help with prevention of so many like fatal diseases life-threatening diseases even cancer as well so guys without wasting much of your time i'm going to give you the guidelines of how to clean your liver digestive tract your skin your lung kidney and let's get straight into it so yes uh guys well what we're gonna do or what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm gonna give you some um, recipes and uh, guidelines on how to take them trust me these are all basic things that we see every day most of them you already have in your kitchen trust me uh these are some things and food and fruits that you consume without knowing the health benefits of them or without knowing that you can actually use as medicinal purposes to save your health and life so i'm going to give you some recipes you're going to pause the video and grow through the picture diagram and see the one that's best suits you okay here is another uh, picture diagram that gives you the sign in details of uh, signs that your body tells you i mean you have to listen to your body when they give you the signs that lets you know that toxins are accumulated in your system and you need to detox okay
all right here we have some uh, recipes uh, for detoxing your liver you can pause the video to go through the picture diagram that way you can pick any of these uh, recipes and use them for detoxing your liver taking an empty stomach first thing in the morning and at least 30 to 1 hour before your breakfast do this for straight two weeks to one week to two weeks it's very good and you will notice a difference and after then subsequently you can do that like every three days in a week just make it a lifestyle and you'll be grateful you did So yeah guys, this is the recipe I'm going to give you for cleaning, uh, detoxing your cologne. And you, you're going to do this uh, every uh, three days. Every three days for straight uh, two weeks. And you will notice big difference in your health, your weight, your stomach, your skin, everything, your general health. You take two tablespoons of salt, sea salt or Himalayan salt warm water in a big glass of water big glass of water and you mix it all together you um take it uh empty stomach in the morning and you wait within 30 minutes to one hour you're going to <laughs> the loo is going to be your best friend and once you excrete every nonsense out of your system you're going to be feeling strong once you finish discharging everything in your bore wells just drink a very good glass of water one good glass of water if you have coconut water you can add it to the water as well it's going to help you with the electrolyte and you're going to be feeling energized before you have your breakfast you can do this like i said twice in a week and subsequently you don't need to do it all the time you can now start doing it once a month and believe me you're gonna be thankful for it
So this is where I leave it to you guys to go through the uh, pictures and pause them if anyone picks your interest. And please, 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 let me just leave this disclaimer. I am not a medical doctor. I'm a medical exhortation. There's a difference. I deal with skin. I started dieting. I'm a dietitian. Human psychology. I treat the uh, dermis and the epidermis of the skin. That's how deep I go. I'm not a dermatologist. There's a difference. Please check. <laughs> okay. So with my dieting experience and expertise, I can tell you what you can take to heal your gut, your health, and well-being. Mm -hmm. But I cannot diagnose kidney, liver, colon problems. Please seek your medical professional advice before you embark on anything. If you feel the need to check anything, consult your medical professional. Let me just lay that out there. So I'm going to let us see a video of how I make my detox water, which I take on a daily. Okay, I go about with this water about three to four glasses sometimes i do more and please let me just say this out for ladies if you're under your period do not do any detoxing you're losing enough blood already okay and the lining tissue of your just an um, uterus is too soft and fragile please do not do that when you're under your monthly flow and after your monthly flow just wait at, at least a week before you start doing any detoxing okay so here's where i am with you guys thank you all and i'll see you in my next bye so yeah i have my detox water which i drink and my slices of cucumber and lemon juice inside the water this is just for demonstrational purposes and i have my apple cider vinegar and my Himalayan pink Himalayan salt and I'm going to put it all in my plastic bottle and drink it during the day so that's how I do it